Hello. Hello. <laughs> um, you're back. You I are am. one of the uh, what two returning characters in mm -hmm. season three and I think four. Yeah. Well, we don't know yet. Not confirmed, but hopefully. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Yeah. <laughs> so, how come they chose you to survive, whereas everyone else was pushed off a cliff? <laughs> I, I think it's just because I was younger, so they sort of had that link into starting school again. I think they sort of focused it on the two years of sixth form which is when most stuff does happen for teenagers. It's when we go through the whole business. So they kind of use that to sort of introduce the new lot. And you're, you are very much grown up now. I mean, the character's very much grown up. It's um, doing stuff in, in the first episode that I don't think previous Skins viewers would have seen you no. do before. Yeah. <laughs> it was like... It's weird, yeah, because when I started, I was 14, so I think Effie was 14 as well. And so over the past year, she's grown up, and this is her year. So she's sort of watched her brother, and she knows... That he what he's been up to and she wants to do it but even better I think so she's pushing herself <laughs> no horrific accidents for you no, 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 no. <laughs> are there any um, any particular plots I mean I'm sure you can't give anything away but um, any particular plots that when you were really off the page you just went oh no way are they making me do that <laughs> um, not really it, I thought it was really interesting because Effie's journey is sort of like a gradual breakdown she's sort of because she's very strong at the beginning and mysterious and doesn't give any away and she just has the series goes on she sort of breaks down and becomes more of a person so I just thought oh, that'd be really interesting to do because just to make her a bit more humane and kind of thing emotional so how much of a kind of like school or college life have you managed to have having been doing this for a few years? Um, well the first two years I was in the last two years of secondary school so I had tutoring on set and stuff but once you reach 16 they don't do that anymore so um, I, I finished my GCSEs and stuff and now I'm taking a year out to concentrate fully on this Do you kind of uh, miss it as well? I mean I guess when you watch the show you just think I quite like to be doing that and I'm Yeah I do, I miss it but then I know I'm having an opportunity that most people my age don't and I'm very grateful for that so I'm going to make the most of it kind of thing So is it very different this time around now that the rest of the cast are kind of your age? Yeah Do you definitely. feel more of an insider? Uh, yeah definitely but that last year that they sort of all looked out for me because I started quite late on into the series as well. They'd already began, began filming, so they'd all bonded and stuff. But they all like looked after me, and I was like the little sister. Whereas now I am a bit more of the group kind of thing, and we all sort of hang out and stuff. <laughs> so of, of the gang, who is kind of, you know, watching the show, you'd imagine uh, that the guy who plays Cook, he's, he's going to be you know, really full of himself. <laughs> is, is he kind of the ringleader for the cast? Or, or who's, no. who's the centre? <laughs> no. So who's the ringleader? Um, I don't know if there is one. We all just get on really well, surprisingly. Like, we all, like, there's quite a few of us from London, so that's nice. Like, I can catch up with the girls when I'm here in London and stuff and I've been to visit the boys where they live and stuff so I don't know if there is a ringleader it's weird <laughs> we all take it in turns <laughs> spending a lot of time a lot of your time in Bristol yeah it's, it's quite weird again I mean because you're away from home a lot yeah. I imagine so yeah we spent like six months living in a hotel really which was quite weird so living out of a suitcase literally every week but it was fun because we're in a different city and we're learning about life and stuff and living on our own and things. So, yeah, it was good. <laughs> Have you got a good Bristol accent now? Can you say... No. Say my lover. Firmer. <laughs> Firmer. <laughs> but her. You're right, my lover. That's all I can say. You're right, my lover. I like the Bristol accent. I think it's really cute. <laughs> is Mackenzie Crook from, from that part of the world? No, it's London. Oh, he is from yeah. London? Okay. Yeah. So, who, who's local that's in the cast? Uh, Lisa. Lisa's okay. from Bristol. Ollie's from Bath, so about half an hour away. But he's very posh, so he doesn't sound like Bristolian. Um, I think Lisa's the only one, actually, that's actually from Bristol, yeah. <laughs> um, what, what's it like working out? And there's some really venerable actors on the show, and Harry Enfield, of mm. course, as well. And, you know, actually, the cast is incredible. Mm. I mean, there's, you know, you young whippersnappers, and you'll be massively famous one day, but at the moment, yeah. that's amazing. Yeah, it was amazing. Out. Like We got to work with David Baddiel this year and mm. stuff, and Matt King and people, Sally Fields, which was amazing. She's the funniest woman in the world. And it's just really nice getting the older actors on set because you kind of learn from them and they all just want, because they know that Skins is about having fun as well, so they're all there having fun, <laughs> so it's really weird. Did you get involved in the whole writing thing? Because it's a really interactive writing process. We have like a really good relationship with the writers. Most of them are like similar to our age anyway, so we can just talk to them and we'll go out for a coffee and stuff and give our ideas kind of thing and just sort of there's a lot of input it's a really good relationship that they've built with us and you can tell that some some of the stuff they've written they've sort of thought of us in mind like the way we say things or 
kind of so yeah it's been a really good relationship <laughs> I'll wrap up really quickly but like the, the big thing at the moment Slumdog yeah. Millionaire is yeah. Yeah. that's amazing bless him he is the nicest guy in the world he completely deserves it and we're all so proud of him because he's just so down to earth and normal still like, I saw him on the red carpet and he just looked lost <laughs> bless him he was just like hello <laughs> just, I love him to pieces I wish him all the luck in the world have you got a sweepstake who's, who's going to be the next Skins cast member to be uh, the hopefully before? all of us Hopefully all of us. That would be nice, all together. <laughs> do, you, do you think you'll ever make a movie one day? It would really lend itself to a movie. Oh, yeah, I would love to. I would love to, but we'll see what happens, kind of thing. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.